Okay, what we have here is a Tesla coil. It's a bifiller secondary. This is based on the Donald Smith as well as the Zeleno, uh, Zelinda Zeleno <clears throat> uh, work, replication of the Don Smith. Anyhow, we've got a clockwise and a counterclockwise here for the secondary. Inside, we've got the uh, primary. Uh, 79 turns of number 20. We got 11 and 3 quarters turns of number 8. What we're doing is trying to synchronize <clears throat> the rigging of these coils here. We've got the two grounds tied together and then because of the co uh, scope we are going to earth ground on the centers. Uh, we get a little light going here. We've got a step down from the function generator. This thing puts out about you know, 20 volts depends on the frequency. We're running at about 1k on here, so it's about 20, 22k, which is about what the resonant frequency is tuned. We don't have the uh, tuning capacitors here, otherwise, the frequency you can see it's going to drop down. We're going to connect those down here. Okay, so what we wanted to show you is when we move the function generator, you're going to see. They go out of phase here. So we're going to put it back into phase. It's about what they were. It's about where we were. We're also going to move the <coughs> primary inside and show you how that affects the phase here. So we're going to Move it right now. Not quite as much as frequency does, but it, nevertheless it has an influence. You know, we are doing, again, we're just moving this in and out like that. The light's still on. We're going to move the uh, primary and see if that affects the light. It's about the same. But again, we throw it out of phase here when we do that. So, the schematic is what we're looking at here. You're going to be able to find this schematic here. This is our standard push-pull circuit, and we do add-ons here. You're going to find this all, this will all be computer-generated here. In a couple days, you're going to find this on the link here on this video to a... Uh, photo bucket site you're going to see it'll probably be uh, the push pull dash 2 and it'll be a revision 4 it's going to have all of this stuff in here this is the primer or the uh, T3 is that's what we've got over here it's the bifiller over here so it's a T3 79 turns number 20 wire and 11 and 3 quarters turns clockwise and counterclockwise number 8 a uh, bear for the uh, secondary some of the value of the capacitors here, the bulb, 14 volt bulb, transform uh, resistors. Again, you're going to see this video, uh, the uh, drawing will be on Photobuck. You can download that. This is the same circuit we had on our last video. Function generator over here, sine wave. <clears throat> you can also take and uh, say <clears throat> push pull, <clears throat> say, uh, What is it called? Yeah, let me see right here. <clears throat> it's the gate transformer. That's what you've got. It's a <clears throat> triple wire. They're close coupled. Wires are twisted together on a ferret core. That's what you've got right here. But you can also take these, put them on the core itself of the transformer, and do the same thing. By the way, none of this circuit is being shown is being tested at this moment here. All we're testing right now is we're hooking the function generator up right here. So none of this stuff is on here. We're just hooking the function generator right to this point right here. So it's got a step down too. That's what we wanted. So there you have it.